What's up, guys? This is Past Cesrif talking to you. I'm not, uh, I don't think I'll be it. No, I won't be at boot camp by the time this gets uploaded. Anyway, welcome back to Minecraft, where Gru's gonna try to eat my ass, and the world is against me. Today, I no longer needed to travel, so I, uh, I'm gonna make another chest, and I'm gonna put all my other valuables in it. It would, however, be good to get wool. So that will be today's goal. Before I do that though, let's go ahead and make a door. Because I can't be bothered to uh, break and replace this place every time I want to get in and out. And look at that, it's daytime. That was convenient. That would be nice for sure. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put all that away. Make a stone sword. Yeah. All right, it's looking pretty fit as a fiddle. Uh, but what I do need to do is I need to mine into this wall, make it a little bit more uniform, but I, more than anything else, I just need um, cobblestone because I can't keep wasting food the way that I waste food, which was ridiculous. So I made furnaces. See, I told you I made furnaces. You would possibly doubt me would be crazy. The idea that you would possibly doubt me. It's okay. I know you didn't for a second there. I know nobody would fear or doubt that I knew how to make a furnace. But I wanted to keep breaking this crafting table so that I could, uh, you know, get rid of that axe. Anyway, so that's that in there now, and I've got my furnaces ready. I'm going to shove some coal in these babies and get some food cooking. Not, not, not pork chops though. Not pork chops. Mm. I'm gonna put two potatoes in there and get the rest of them cooking. Cause I'm pretty freaking hungry, but I can't be, I can't be giving away my food sauce. So, I venture off to find food. I found some chickens, which led me to some pigs. This one was particularly evasive, but these pigs, I won't let them get away. I need them for the power of the sandwich. It's moist and delicious! But, if I can't make those, I will kill chicken. But, what is a chicken, really? What is a chicken to a man? It is dysentery. I wish for sheep. I need sheep. I need their wool. I need their meat. They are just a better form of sustenance. So I ate a bunch of raw chicken and gave myself salmonella. I wandered the forest for a while and I didn't really find any sheep so I devised a genius plan to keep walking and basically hope that a sheep spawns somewhere in another biome seeing as I'm not even sure that they spawn in this one if we're being completely honest. Um, but one thing was for sure. I was thirsty. And to celebrate my immense thirst. I drank some water. I'd even found a hot spring. It didn't seem like I was able to drink it though, but it did give me regeneration. Perhaps it was some sort of healing pool. The silty dirt suggested it was definitely something of helpfulness. So I got some hot spring water because I figured it would be good for me, but it probably would, you know, warm me up quite a lot. So I went and drunk some dirty water, and then I got in the mystic water to hope that it would cool me off. But I saw it. It is the mystical sheep. Give me. Give me the wool. Ignore my ability to miss. I am here for your wool, and I shan't leave without it. And just like that, I had finally found the wool that I had been looking so hard for. But I had to return to the shadows because I was getting toasty. Upon killing the sheep, I noticed that I had a little gift. Intestines. Inside of it, I found... Ooh, slime. Uh, you know what? That's... Yeah, I'll take that. And a fang tooth. Wasn't really sure what it was for, but... I could use it for many things, apparently. Famine helmet. Huh. I had finally returned home with my bucket of hot spring hot water. And some food. Was prepared and ready to go. 
So I stuck what I had brought with me inside the cookeries, and I finally, finally, for the first time in this entire playthrough, was able to make a bed. Yes! With this bed, what shall I do? I'll stick it next to a wall and not be able to use it because it's not nighttime. Great. But I will be able to eat my tables. If it does become winter, this hot spring water would be pretty nice if it stays hot. I'm not sure if it will, though. Uh, it's probably a good idea to hide it from myself so that I don't stick a torch in it or something. Now I think it might be time to do some home improvement because I cannot stay in this small of a space forever. Honestly, I should probably make an infinite water source too. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the homemaker video. Today we'll be working out of a scrappy cave. And it's gonna be my scrappy cave. It's not just any old scrappy cave, it's mine. We're gonna be mining out this wall today. And if you don't like building videos, well, this ain't gonna be the one for you. But if I'm being honest, I'll probably edit out most of the building. And then this video is gonna be extremely small. So we'll see how it goes. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna dig out this wall. Once my Barbie dream house was pretty outfitted with stone, I felt pretty darn content. Except for the fact that I wanted more light in that corner. But I just needed to change up this wall to stone and then I would have myself a proper house. And wouldn't you know, that would mean that I have got an effective base of operations. Which means, for the first time in the series in a long time, I would actually feel pretty safe. I even have this little heat tub right here. I don't actually know if it raises my heat any, but if it really was a hot spring water and it decided to stay hot that would be nice it yeah it actually does raise my heat what do you know cool that's immersive it's immersive as fuck hell yeah things were really starting to shape up for me i'd even made a little porch and even if my house looked a little bit odd in the mountainside i liked it it was home unfortunately i didn't have any sand so i couldn't make any real windows but i was in a rush so i just figured i'd make iron bars it would make it look real prisony, but it would keep the mobs out. And let's be honest, iron bars are kind of cool. Now I have to wonder, does it have any use? Well, would you look at that? Because of the power of mods, I can make iron lanterns and even overhead doors. Now that's pretty cool. However, to fuel my new addiction, I would need to go mining. My new addiction being, well, making iron bars, I guess. Anyway, I needed to mine. That's the important part. So, I started heading down. On my way down, I found some coal, which I'd mine so that, well, I would have coal. But, it was nice enough to lead me to what seemed to be a cave, so I explored it. And I was lucky that I did, because, well, there was iron, and I kind of needed iron. And it even led to a mine shaft. This is a bonus... I wanted to reserve that mine shaft dive for a little bit longer though. So I grabbed some more coal where I could level up and I even found what appeared to be, I think, Australian. Nope, it was amber. Oh well. Well, I found amber and some copper. So that made my day pretty nice as well. I even found a glowing mushroom. Look at that thing. I seem to have found a zombie villager room so I broke in and while the zombie villager was confused I broke the spawner as well and then I was killing the zombie villager and look at that sure I could have cured him but what's the point in that so I found this box and it had earth mage leggings and some ammo a little shock bomb you know some of that good good I didn't really need to take the black beds with so I put it back the earth mage leggings were worse than the one I was worse than iron in terms of armor and I didn't have enough magic to care yet, so that happened like that. And then I used my ammo box to get ammunition of some sort. It seems as if I was lucky to get more sticky bombs. I found another chest thingy. It had a smoke bomb and a stormy crystal. And another pickaxe. I kept hearing iron crowbar noises, so I theorized that maybe floating pickaxes were mining their ghostly mine. 
that I just happened to have happened upon. The good news is, is since I was underground, I was able to keep my temperature pretty moderate. I even found some gold, which I can turn into a nugget, which will make life easier. So I made it out of there safely, with just enough water, and well, that was a very successful trip. I got some gold smelting, plenty of iron, and uh, some copper too, so all in all, you know, it was pretty alright. Got my chest all sorted out, even figured out how these ammo boxes work. I'm pretty sure they give you ammo for whatever ammo, or MMO for whatever gun you have in your inventory, which is pretty freaking nice. I should get a farm going, but for now, I have achieved gold, and you know what this means? If I take a gold, and a stick, and a gem, I will be able to begin my mastery over the arcane arts of sorcery, and whatever other spells I have. Anyway, so here's my magic wand. I did it. I unlocked the magic. I've got the magic within. So I'm going to go ahead and place down my thingy again. Regret that it's not nighttime so I can't sleep. And would you look at that? A thunderstorm. I still can't sleep because it's not any... Oh, look at that. Now it's picking up. Lordy lordy, storms are coming. I wonder if it'll be enough sleep too. Oh well. So now I have my wand. I'm going to grab my apprentice book. And then I'm going to stick it on. And there we go. I now, I, now I got it to work. This means that I now have an apprentice wand, baby. And with my apprentice wand, I can stick many spells on. Because honestly, I just need to learn as many spells as possible. Is this... Yeah, that's advanced, so I can't even use that right now. I just want to learn up all these spells, pretty much. Nope. Oh yeah, I should... <laughs> I should... I should get some mana for this thing, shouldn't I? Yeah. I need, uh, I need some energy. Oh yeah, tornado's definitely going on. I can feel the pull. Let me get inside. Ah, that's better. Yeah, there's definitely... There's a tornado going on out there, 100%. So, uh... Yeah, it looks like I'm staying in tonight. Uh, we'll, we'll see if my base can hold up against the terrors of Tornado. Uh, but as you can see, I got my glass stuck in this thing. And with the power of editing and hopefully this blowing stopping in my house anytime now, I have bottles! And with my bottles, I can stick essence in them. Like this. Or maybe not like that. Actually, let me see. Oh, yeah, it's like this. Hold up. Yeah, now I got essence in a bottle. There you go. Happy times are here again. And then I can just craft it with my wand, and there we go. Magic. I have prepared to use magic. And there we go. That spells Lord. That spells Ice Bowl. I don't know what this spell is. Oh, it seems like a tornado's trying to pick me up again. This one's muffled. This one's lead. Okay. Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! No 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 no! It's 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 pulling me away! No 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 no! Oh, that was a good use of the sticky jumper. That was a very good use of the sticky jumper. So I turned weather down a bunch because that tornado was trying to be loud as hell and interrupt everything I care about. Uh, but basically what I was trying to say while the weather was being so rude is it swept me away, or it was trying to sweep me away and make a great escape and all that nonsense. But anyway, I'm gonna put these on here and try to identify these spells as well. Yep. Nope. 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 Okay, well, I, I identified two of them. <laughs> uh, so this tornado pulled away a decent bit of grass. And it 
a decent bit of the trees too, but my house is pretty safe beside the grass. So that's a pretty good sign. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then I can put away the books that I have identified. Oop. All identified. Cool. Alright, so I, I have no clue what these spells do. But now that the tornado's gone, I think I can test it out. You know what? None of these are none of these are any help right now. I need to find a test subject. It hasn't been swept away by a tornado. Uh, I also would not like to be swept away by a tornado. Which would be nice. Hello, is there a mob around here that would be a willing test subject to whatever spells I have conjured? Ow. That's a skeleton warrior. I don't really want to fight that guy if we're being honest. The power of magic. I have learned that I have basically no helpful spells. Except for heal. Heal's a good one. Well, today was productive in the world of magic and wizardry, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I hope to see you in the next video. This is from Past Says Riff Say Goodbye!